Magandang buhay po at welcome dito sa aking Mathematics Tagalog Tutorial. Sa video na ito, ipapaliwanag ko po sa inyo how to solve radical equation. So, gaya po ng radical equation na ito, paano nga po ba ito isolve? Yan po yung aking ipapaliwanag sa inyo step by step. Okay? So, igagayad ko po kayo kung paano po mag-solve ng radical equation. So, magbibigay po ako ng ilang example, kagaya po ng 8 minus square root of x equal to 4. Number 2, 5 is equal to square root of 2x minus 5. Number 3, square root of x minus x is equal to 12. Number 4, 2 square root of x minus 3 is equal to square root of 3x. So, yan po at iba pa ang aking pong ipapaliwanag upang sa ganon ay maintindihan po ninyo yung lesson. Okay, so let's start with number 1. 8 minus square root of x is equal to 4. So, pag sinabi po natin solve the equation or radical equation, ay hanapin natin yung value ng variable. Ang variable po natin dito ay x. So, paano po hanapin yung value ng variable na x? Ganito lang po yon. Since radical equation ito ay yung pong may square root or may root ay set aside natin sa isang side of the equation. So, in this case, meron pong 8 dito sa left side. So, dapat ang ititira po natin ay yung may square root of x lang. So, ililipat natin itong 8. Isasama po natin sa 4 sa right side ng equation. Ano po? So, that ang matitira sa left side ay minus yun kayo na kaya magiging negative square root of x. So, mag-isa na po yung may square root doon. Is equal to 4. Pag nilipat natin yung 8, positive siya magiging negative kaya minus 8. So, 4 minus 8. So, pareho na po silang constant dun sa right side. Then, simplify natin yung 4 minus 8, that is negative 4. So, ayan na po, nasa left side yung may square root, nasa right side yung walang square root. So, paano po natin hahanapin yung value ng x dyan? Since square root po yan, ay square natin yung both side of the equation. Bakit po square? Para po makancel itong radical form na yan, or radical symbol, or square root, kaya square po. Kapag cube root yan, kaya cube din po yung anyong uh, gagawin. Okay? So, ang matitira po doon, kapag tinanggal po natin yung uh, square root, ay x na lang yung radical. Is equal to, square po natin yung negative 4, negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. So, ito po yung value ng x. Okay, so since meron na tayong value ng x na 16, check po natin kung tama po ito. Minsan po kasi nagkakamali yung ating computation. So para ma-check natin kung tama yung sagot natin, ay substitute natin sa ating original equation. 8 minus square root of x is equal to 4. Para ma-check po natin. Okay, so 8 minus yung value ng x, 16 na na-compute natin, ilagay natin doon sa x so Square root of x, kaya square root of 16. Okay? Is equal to, bring down yung 4. Okay? Equal to 4. So, 8 minus, what is square root of 16? 4 is equal to 4. And then, subtract, 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. Then, bring down 4. So, 4 is equal to 4. Is that true or false? That is true. Okay? So, since true po yung ating checking, therefore, yung value ng x na 16 na na-compute natin, yan po yung solution of the equation 8 minus square root of x is equal to 4. Okay, so bago ko po i-present yung number 2 example, click lang po muna ang like and then subscribe kung bago ka pa lang po sa aking channel upang sa gaon ay ma-update ka sa iba pang pa video tutorial na aking i-upload sa mga susunod. Okay, so how about this number 2 example? 5 is equal to square root of 2x minus 5. In this case, sa given po na ito, ay magkahiwalay na po yung may square root dun sa wala. So, yung 5, wala pong square root sa left side. Sa right side, square root of 2x minus 5. So, mayroon pong square root. So, in this case, wala na po tayong paghihiwalayin o pagsasamahin. Okay? So, gagawin na lang po natin, since square root po yung radical natin dun, square both side of the equation. Okay? Again, para po makancel yung square root, ano po, kaya po square natin. So, sa left side, 
5 square, 5 times 5 is equal to 25. Is equal to, since na-cancel na yung ating radical form doon, or radical symbol, matitira po yung ating radikan. 2x minus 5. Okay? So, madali na lang po itong isolve. 25 is equal to 2x minus 5. Pagsamahin po yung walang x. So, yung 5 at yung 25. So, ilipat po natin yung minus 5 sa left side. Isama po natin sa 25. Kaya, 25, pag nilipat yung minus 5, magiging plus 5. Is equal to, may iwan na po yung 2x sa right side. Okay? And then, we are going to add, pwedeng i-plus ito, 25 plus 5 is equal to 30. And then, equal to 2x. Since ang hinahanap natin dito ay yung value ng x, so may kasama pong 2, yung x, so we are going to divide 2 to both sides of the equation. Again, para makancel yung 2. Okay? So ang matitira po doon, pag cancel yung 2 ay x, is equal to, sa left side, 30 divided by 2 is 15. So yung 15 na yan, yan po yung value ng x. Okay? So, i-check po natin kung tama po yung sagot natin na 15. Again, kopyahin natin yung original equation. 5 is equal to square root of 2x minus 5. And then, substitute natin yung value ng x na na-compute natin, which is 15. Kaya, square root of 2x, kaya 2 times 15 minus 5. Okay? Simplify natin. 5 is equal to square root of 2 times 15 is 30. Minus 5. Then, 5 is equal to 30 minus 5 is 25. So, 5 is equal to what is square root of 25? That is 5. And 5 is equal to 5. Yan po ay true. Okay? Since true po yung ating checking, meaning to say, yung na-compute natin na value ng x na 15, yan na po yung solution of the given radical equation. Okay, so how about this number 3 example? Square root of x minus x is equal to negative 12. So in this case, yung ating pong example, ito pong x na yan ay wala pong square root, ano po, or wala pong radical symbol. So isasama po natin yan dun sa right side na negative 12 kasi yung negative 12 wala din pong radical symbol. Para ang matitira po sa left side ay yung square root of x lang. Okay? So, this will become, pag nilipat po natin yung minus x, minus siya magiging positive x, kaya x na lang po. And then, idugtong na po natin yung negative 12, kaya minus 12. Okay, so magkasana, magkasama na po yung walang square root sa right side. Then next, nagagawin natin, since square root yan, para matanggal yan, we are going to square both side of the equation. Again, Para makancel po yung radical symbol. Okay? So, dito po sa left side, nakancel na po yung radical symbol. Ang matitira ay yung radical na x. Okay? Is equal to, what is x minus 12 square? Ano po? So, yan po ay i-expand po natin. So, paano po ang pag-expand? Yan po ay squaring a binomial or multiplication of binomial by a binomial. So, x minus 12 times x minus 12. So, pwede pong gamitin yan any method. So, ito lang po yung gagamitin ko to multiply x minus 12 times x minus 12. So, multiply the first term, x times x, x squared. And then, ito po, x times negative 12 kasi minus 12 yan, kaya negative 12x. And then, dito rin po. Negative 12. Bakit po negative? Kasi minus 12 yun. Kaya negative 12 times x is negative 12x. And then, yung last. Negative 12 times negative 12. That is positive 144. And then, simplify the equation or the product. May pareho pong x ito. Negative 12x minus 12x. So, pwede pong pagsamahin yan. So, x squared. Negative 12x Minus 12x is equal to negative 24x. Since pareho po silang minus or pareho po silang negative, i-add lang po yan. So, 12 plus 12 is 24. Then, plus 144. So, yan na po yung lalagay po natin dito na expanded form ng x minus 12 
square. Okay, so yung equation na po natin ay x is equal to x squared minus 24x plus 144. Okay, combine like terms. Isama po natin yung x dun sa 24x. So, lipat po natin yung x sa right side. So, pag nilipat natin, magiging x squared minus 24x. Singit na po natin yan kasi kasama po niya yan. Like terms niya yung 24. Positive yung x kaya magiging minus x. Then, inugtong natin yung plus 144. So, doon lang po natin sisingit. Ano po? Since wala pong matitira sa left side, nilipat po yung x, lagyan po natin ng 0. Okay? So, ang next po natin dito, if you notice here, minus 24x minus x, pareho po silang may x, so like terms po sila, kailangan po natin isimplify yan o pagsamahin. So, x squared, negative 24x minus x ay negative 25x. Then, plus 144. Okay, so, yan na po yung ating equation. Pwede pong pagpaltin yung 0 at yung x squared minus 25x plus 144. So, ito po yung isosolve natin, yung value ng x, para yun po yung magiging solution of the equation. Okay, so itas po natin, x squared minus 25x plus 144 is equal to 0. If you notice, yung atin na pong equation ay quadratic equation. So, paano po isolve ang quadratic equation? Marami pong method kung napanood po ninyo yung aking mga video. Ano po? So, ang gagamit ko po dito ay by factoring. Okay? So, ipa-factor po natin yung x squared minus 25x plus 144. Paano po mag-factor? Tingnan po natin yung last term, 144. At yung ating pong middle term ay negative 25. So, ano po yung factor ng 144 na kapag pinag-add natin ay negative 25? So, ang factors po ng 144 ay negative 9 and negative 16. Kapag pinag-multiply po kasi ito, ito ay 144. Yun po yung third term natin. Ano po? At kapag pinag-plus din po natin itong negative 9 plus negative 16, ang sum po niya ay negative 25. Yun po yung sinasabi ko. Okay? So, ito pong negative 9 at negative 16 na factors, ilagay na po natin dito sa ating close and open parenthesis. Since ang variable po ay x, kaya yung unang factor na negative 9, so x minus 9. Okay? At yung second factor na negative 16, magiging x minus 16. So, yan na po yung factors. x minus 9 and x minus 16. Kapag nakuha po yung factors, madali naman po ang value ng x dito sa factor na x minus 9 ay x is equal to 9. Change the sign lang po yan. Since minus 9, magiging 9 po pag kinuha yung value ng x. Gawin din po dito sa x minus 16, ang value ng x is equal to 16. Okay, so ito po yung value ng x. And then, i-check din po natin. Okay, so i-check natin yung na-compute natin na value ng x na 9 at 16 kung yan po ay solution of the radical equation. So, x equal to 9 and x equal to 16. Unahin po natin yung 9. Copy the original equation. Square root of x minus x is equal to negative 12. So, yung x po dyan, lagyan po natin or substitute natin yung 9. Kaya yung una, square root of x is square root of 9. Okay? Minus x, kaya minus 9, is equal to 12. Yun lang po, papalit lang po natin yung value ng x. So, yung square root of 9 ay 3. Then, minus 3 is equal to negative 12. And what is 3 minus 9? Negative 6 is equal to negative 12. Okay, so negative 6 is equal to negative 12. That is not true. Hindi po equal yung dalawa. So, ano yung na-compute natin na value ng x na 9? Ang tawag po dyan ay extraneous root. Okay? How about the second value of x na 16? Substitute po natin ulit sa original equation. So, square root of x, kaya square root of 16, minus x yun, kaya minus 16 is equal to negative 12. So, again, what is square root of 16? 4, then minus 16 is equal to negative 12. What is 4 minus 16? That is negative 12. 
is equal to negative 12. So, in this case, that is true. Equal po sila. So, meaning to say, itong x is equal to 16, yan po yung solution ng radical equation. Hindi po solution yung 9. Ano po? Kasi not true. Ang solution lang po niya ay yung 16. Okay, so for number 4 example, 2 times square root of x minus 3 is equal to square root of 3x. So, in this time, ililib ko po itong assignment ninyo. O, kayo na po ang mag-solve. At yung sagot po ninyo ay comment lang po sa comment box at hintayin po ninyo yung aking reply. So, sasabihin ko po sa inyo kung tama po o mali yung inyong makukuhang sagot. Okay, so salamat po sa inyong panood. Kung meron po kayong katanungan sa video na ito, ay comment lang po sa comment box at hindiin po ninyo yung aking reply. Be sure lang po na kayo po ay mag-like at subscribe upang sa gawin, pag ako po ay nag-reply, ay manunotify po kayo.